and supply, you can use this to create commerce in, in your practices almost immediately. We believe the solution for some of your clients is going to be care, which is simply, as I said earlier, it's an annuity that also provides a long-term care benefit. The graphic you're looking at on the right is the Annuicare brochure. You can uh, get these through American Independent Marketing. I wish I could open it up and flip through it with you, but you just can't do this on this particular medium. But uh, it's a four-pager, and it will take you right from the concept right through to the close. Now, Annuicare has two basic chassis. Uh, the first one is Annuicare 10. Uh, this is the product we sell the most of. It's issued through age 79. And you can see over there to the right, the uh, current interest rate is 3%, which I think is competitive with just about anything you see out there today. Uh, for your older clients, we have Annuicare 7. That is issued all the way through age 85. And you can see on the right, uh, the current interest rate is 2.75%. What I want to point out is that the your clients are not locked into these rates because we use what's called a portfolio style renewal. And I guess a simple way to say that is, is as interest rates trend up in general, our renewal rates will trend up as well. Now, conversely, if interest rates go down, our renewal rates go down. But I, don't, I, I can't foresee uh, interest rates dropping any lower than they are today. So the point is, with a portfolio style renewal rate, that 3%, if that's attractive to you in today's market, five years from now, we'll be paying an equally attractive interest rate in that interest rate environment. Now, as Dave pointed out, uh, Annuicare, it's the original annuity-based long-term care that's been being offered through the independent distribution channel. Uh, it's offered exclusively by Guarantee Income Life. And it is specifically geared toward both annuity and long-term care producers. And I think experience says a lot, so it's worth reiterating that this is the first annuity long-term care product introduced in America. We actually introduced this product 16 years ago in 1999. Now you may ask why back in 1999 did Guarantee Income create an annuity that also offers long Uh, there are some reasons why they, they choose not. Why do 9 out of 10 people choose not to buy long-term care insurance? Well, a couple of good reasons. One, it's become expensive and it's getting more expensive. And uh, also, underwriting's become more rigorous and lengthy. And there are some companies that are essentially they're, they're cherry-picking their clients. Uh, and put it differently, somebody 10 years ago who would have easily qualified for long-term care, that same person today, same age, same health, same everything, may find it more difficult to qualify. And those are all logical reasons. But we believe at Guarantee Income that the number one reason why particularly seniors are reluctant to buy long-term care insurance is because they don't want to pay for something that they may never use. So there is a consumer mindset that we have to work with, I think, to work through these problems with our clients. And that mindset is it's a use it or lose it proposition. In other words, if I don't use my benefits, all the premium that I paid for all those years is gone. Annuicare solves that problem. And we're going to get to that in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at the end result. The majority, in other words, nine out of 10 Americans are self-insuring for their long-term care needs. And essentially, they're gambling with their life savings. And uh, I don't know if those of you on the line today, you may be annuity producers, maybe you manage money, uh, maybe you sell life insurance. All of these are, are instruments to help grow and preserve somebody's assets. And the point I want to make is for these nine out of 10 people that are self-insuring, we may be doing a great job preserving their assets for the future only to have that money wind up going to the hands of the owners of a nursing home if we, if, if we don't address the long-term care issue. But the fact remains, nine out of 10 Americans have chosen not to buy long-term care. So what we decided in 1999, you just you can't fight nine out of 10 uh, Americans. If 90% of the people say, I'm not gonna buy it, you can't fight them because what they were really saying is, I'm gonna self-insure. I'm going to gamble, I'm going to take the chance that I'm not going to become ill or injured or have cognitive impairment, and I'm going to self-insure with my own money. So rather than fight them, we chose to join them. And Annuicare simply is a better way to self-insure. It's a way where your, your client's money is safe. 
Uh, it's free from market risk. It has liquidity. Uh, it grows tax deferred, but most importantly, it triples in value to cover their long-term care needs. So whatever they put into the care annuity, they will immediately have three times that amount of money to pay for their long-term care needs. And again, all claims are paid income tax-free. Now, as I go through this, we've sprinkled in a couple of sales concepts. And uh, folks, these are not concepts we made up. These are concepts that we gleaned off of the top care producers across the country. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, sometimes asking the right questions will make more sales progress than giving your clients or prospects information. So the one advisor who developed this sells quite a bit of care, and he kind of tees it up this way. He said, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, what if I can show you a way? You don't own long-term care insurance, so what if I could show you a way to protect your assets from the high cost of care? And while doing so, you would maintain complete control of those assets. If you did need care, whatever the asset is, you can receive up to three times whatever that account value is to pay for the care. But here's the best part. If you don't need care, then all of this asset can be passed on to your heirs. So it's kind of a benefit if you need it and money back if you don't. What if I could do all of these things and you had to pay no out-of-pocket premium? Would you be interested in seeing how that works? So uh, one advisor who developed this, and we shared it with everybody across the country, and we're having a tremendous amount of success with it. So while we're in sales concepts, so let me share a second one with you. Uh, sometimes comparing something that somebody is not familiar with to something that they are very familiar with is another way to get sales progress. Because I think a lot of times when prospects say no, what they're really saying is, I don't know, and until I know, the answer is no. So keeping it simple. I want you to imagine your prospect that is self-insuring, which is nine out of 10 people, and let's say they have net assets of, oh, seven, eight, 900,000, whatever that number is. They've decided to carve out $2,000 that they're not going to spend. It won't be for vacations, summer homes, new cars. This is money they're going to put away, hopefully in a safe place, so that if either of them do become ill or injured or have cognitive impairment, they've got that 200000 there to go to to hopefully uh, pay most of the bills. Now, I want you to imagine that same prospect standing on the street with his $200,000 in a big bag. Obviously, not safe, but... They have a purpose for being there. They're, look, they're, they're going to deposit the money in a bank. And there's two banks next door to each other. And the bank over here on the left has a sign in the window, and it says, deposit your money here. It will be safe, and you'll get a fair rate of return. By the way, you know, if you should become ill or injured or have cognitive impairment and incur long-term care expenses, you can come down to this bank and not just withdraw the 200000 I'm sorry. You can withdraw that 200000 You may have to pay a little bit of an interest penalty, but for the most part, this money's liquid, so you can take out your 200000 use that to cover your long-term care needs. So what I just described is a, a, a typical bank CD or money market account. Now, the bank over here on the right has a similar but slightly different sign in the window. Okay, it agrees to deposit your money here. It will be safe. You'll get a fair rate of return. However, should you become ill or injured or have cognitive impairment and incur long-term care expenses, you can come down to this bank and not just withdraw the $200,000 that you deposited, but over a six-year period, you can withdraw three times that much, in this case, $600,000, three times your deposit, to cover your long-term care expenses. And that would generate $100,000 a year for six years of income tax-free long-term care benefits. <clears throat> now, if you put yourself in the position of that prospect that's standing on the street with a big duffel bag with the $200,000 in it, uh, keeping in mind that you don't have any long-term care insurance, which one of these banks would make the most sense to you? And it's obviously going to be bank uh, two on the right. So uh, I mentioned earlier that we have a consumer mindset that we have to deal with uh, regarding their mindset toward long-term care. And that mindset is it's a use it or lose it proposition. It's not a popular subject. Going to the nursing home is not something fun to think about. And so it's easy to develop that excuse for not covering their long-term care needs. So they're thinking, hey, it's use it or lose it, so I'm not going to do it. Well, with care, if your clients don't use their or don't need to use their long-term care benefits, they can get their deposit back plus net interest. Or uh, if they pass away without using their long-term care benefits, 100% of the annuity value plus any net interest will pass on to the heirs. 
So what have we accomplished? We've, we've, we've kind of shifted that consumer mindset from a use it or lose it proposition to this. I have long-term care benefit if I need it and my money back if I don't. We've turned it into a win-win. Folks, that's how Care solves the uh, consumer mindset toward long-term care. Now I'm going to go through some of the nuts and bolts and the reason I want to do this is I want to show you how simple a new care is and how easy it is to describe it to your clients. Later I'm actually going to walk you through a, an illustration so you can see how easily those work. So the simplicity begins here. Uh, a new care is not gender distinct. So everything I'm about to talk about applies to both male or female. In some cases we know females in the long-term care arena wind up paying a little more. It also applies to all ages. So let's assume your client deposits $200,000 into a new care. Essentially they're putting $200,000 into bank too. Immediately, the care rider will reserve an additional $400,000 of long-term care benefits. So if you add the two together, and this is where they're self-insuring, they have a total of a $600,000 benefit, $200,000 is their money, and the other $400,000 is paid by the care rider. Here's how the benefits are paid. During the first two years of confinement or nursing home expense or home health care, uh, they're going to use their annuity first, penalty free. Now, don't see that as a negative because remember, these people are currently 100% self-insured. For the po following four years, the same benefit is going to be paid from the annuity care rider, giving them a total of six years. So what they've done is they've leveraged their $200,000 deposit into a $600,000 total benefit without any out-of-pocket premium. So if you do the math, the total benefit is 600000 divided by the six-year benefit period. That's where we get the 100000 a year tax-free to pay their long-term care expenses. So that's just how simple a new care is. There's nothing complicated about it. David, now, quick question. Of course. Uh, <clears throat> if your annual expenses, this is a, it's a reimbursement chassis, correct? Correct. So if your annual expenses are less than 100000 Will that money just stay in the pool and the plan will pay out longer than six years? Yes, that's exactly what would happen. For example, if we were, were talking about a $100,000 a year benefit for six years, and let's say they were using home health care and just say that was going to cost them 50000 they then would have benefits for 12 years. So it would just extend the benefit period. Thank you. You bet. Uh, what, what does a new care pay for? And, and those of you with any long-term care experience in your background are currently working in the long-term care arena. This is going to be very familiar to you. Uh, a new care will pay percent of the daily maximum benefit for home health care, homemaker services, hospice services, maintenance or personal care, uh, respite care, assisted living, Alzheimer's, and of course the nursing home. It will even pay up to 50% of the daily maximum benefit for adult daycare. Now, if you're familiar with adult daycare, it's become very popular in California. You know, maybe dad has issues, maybe it's a cognitive issue, winds up moving in with the daughter or the son, and they drop him off on the way to work at adult daycare, drop the kids off down the street at daycare, gather them all on the way home. So if it, even 50%, and, and a lot of the traditional long-term care uh, products don't address that issue. Uh, how do you... Uh, access benefits, in other words, what has to happen before you can qualify to receive benefits. Uh, there are two triggers, and again, this will be familiar to those of you with long-term care in your background. Trigger number one is being unable to perform at least two of the six activities of daily living, or ADLs, and that would include bathing, eating, continence, toileting, dressing, or transferring. Any combination of those two, they qualify to go on benefit. And then there is a second si single trigger, uh, and that's cognitive impairment requiring substantial supervision, which is quite a mouthful, but it just simply means for cognitive reasons, they cannot function adequately on their own for a reasonable period of time. Uh, that alone would qualify them to go on benefits. So those are the two triggers. Now I want to talk about everybody's favorite subject. Uh, I want to talk about underwriting. And I think what you're going to like about our underwriting, this is an underwritten product. Uh, typically, if they wouldn't qualify for traditional long-term care, or maybe uh, there are some times when they might not qualify for traditional long-term care, and they would for a new care, but for the most part, it's underwritten using the, the same different methods, but using the same philosophy. But the way we do it is much quicker. Uh, for your clients that are age 69 and under, 
the entire underwriting process is a telephone interview by a registered nurse. They're going to ask them what medications they're taking, what conditions they're taking them for. They're going to ask them about use of wheelchairs, oxygen, that sort of thing. They're going to give them a cognitive impairment uh, test on the phone. That's the process. Now, for your clients that are 70 and over, that same interview is conducted face to face. Now, we use the services of the long-term care group. Uh, they're the biggest third-party underwriter of long-term care in the industry. And they have a network of registered nurses. If, if you have somebody in the badlands of North Dakota and they need a face-to-face -face interview, they can get somebody out there fairly quickly. I think what you like most about our underwriting is what we don't do. There is no medical exam. There's no lab work ordered. There's no urine. There's no blood draw. Uh, no medical records ordered, no attending physician statements. You know, all of the things in the underwriting process that slow the process down, we have eliminated all of those and replaced that with either the telephone or face-to-face -face interview. Uh, there is no substandard ratings. You'll never have to go out and apologize and say, hey, you know, you were a little bit iffy on the health issues or some of the medical questions and we're going to charge you more. We don't do that. They either qualify or they don't. And because of this style of underwriting, uh, you can expect a very quick response, typically 72 hours. So three business days after the uh, telephone or face-to-face -face interview, we're going to give you an underwriting decision. Now, if you have been working in the long-term care arena, you may have noticed that the decline rate has gone up somewhat. Uh, we are declining approximately 17%, which means that we are issuing approximately 83% of all applications, and that's probably one of the highest issue percentages in the long-term care industry. Uh, premium limits, uh, I, I guess I should say deposit limits. They're, it's really not a premium. It's how much they, the minimum they can deposit into the annuity. Uh, Non-qualified money, minimum deposits, 36500 That will generate a $50 a day room for six years. And you may be asking, well, where can you go to a nursing home for $50 a day? Well, you can't. Uh, but, you know, there are people that bought traditional care many years ago, and maybe they got a 70 or 80 or 90 or $100 a day room and they realize that's not going to be enough to pay the bills. They'd like some more coverage, but they're either unwilling or in some cases they're unable to pay more premium for traditional long-term care. So they can find that asset, an underperforming asset, might be in a CD, money market account, could be an asset at risk in the market that they're uncomfortable with. Uh, put that into a new care, and the new care benefit will pay right on top of their traditional long-term care. Uh, for qualified accounts, and this is very important, our, our ability to accept qualified money, it, it, we believe is critical to the success for you to be able to sell this product. And the reason I say this is over 60% of all the investable assets in the United States are in IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, TSP plans, etc. So if you're limited to only being able to use their non-qualified money, that really kind of cuts your market down. Uh, we, we will accept qualified money, minimum deposits, 50000 And to make a, a, a otherwise complicated story short, they won't have to pay tax on that entire deposit at one time. So, for example, if they wanted to use $100,000 of their IRA or, their, or take it out of their 401k and use that to fund their long-term care insurance, we take the entire 100000 but we only 1099 them for 20000 for 20%. The following year, we'll 1099 them for another 20000 and, and so on until the end of five years. All the taxes have been paid, and it's no longer an IRA. So as opposed to them paying the tax on the entire 100000 at one time, we've, uh, you, we use this technique to spread their taxes out over a five-year period. But the easy thing to remember is just simple. Just take whatever the, uh, the qualified deposit is, divide it by five, and tell them you're going to get a 1099 for this each year. If you, if you use qualified funds to fund your new care. Maximum deposit, 300000 per insured. That'll generate $900,000 of tax-free long-term care benefit. Uh, you know, frankly, if they wanted to receive their care at the Ritz-Carlton, West Palm Beach, Florida, it's probably going to be enough to pay the bill. So those are the premium limits. Now, what we've done so far is we've pretty much gone through the nuts and bolts and how it works and a couple of sales concepts. Uh, now I want to talk about the opportunity and the Annuicare Advantage, and I also want to talk about its competitive nature. We have seen some companies come and go in the annuity long-term care space. Uh, we're here to stay. We've been in for 16 years, and we are committed. It is our flagship product. But I'm going to also, in this section, I'm going to compare the four companies that offer this product. The first I want to say, uh, 
under, under the Pension Protection Act, uh, the, all, all of the uh, premium or the portion of the interest that you use to pay for the long-term care benefit is tax-free. This came into effect January 2010 under the Pension Protection Act of 2006. So that means that your client is going to receive tax-deferred interest, the premiums are tax-free, and the long-term care benefits are paid tax-free. So I think from an uh, income tax uh, perspective, Annuicare really offers them the perfect tax combination. David, uh, we, had a quick, we had a question here. I sure. think the whole crowd would probably appreciate the answer. Uh, what is the annual maximum allowable withdrawal from the account without any kind of penalty? It is interest and it's cumulative. Now, we, we don't offer the 10% free withdrawal uh, on the Annuicare chassis. And the reason we don't is because for every dollar they remove, they, they're going to lose $3 of benefit. But they can allow their interest to accumulate or take it out annually. They can take out all of the interest, even if it's greater than 10% at any time. Okay, and the interest rate actually can be viewed, from a traditional long-term care perspective, it can be viewed as your inflation protection rider. It, exactly, and we don't even encourage them to take out the interest. I'll be showing you all that in a minute. As that annuity value grows because of the accredited interest, the long-term care benefit grows right along with it. Yeah, and the, 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 the way on the actual benefit side of the annuity itself, regardless of the amount of money you put into the account, whether it be the minimum 36000 or the max 300000 it's all, the, the engineering or the math that equates out to what your annual benefit is, is always based upon a six-year plan length, correct? That is correct. Okay. Well, that's Thanks, to yeah. calculate the maximum benefit is on a six-year plan. Right, the maximum, yeah, the maximum <clears throat> annual benefit. So in the case of the 900000 you would divide that by six, and that would give you your annual maximum benefit you can have available to you. Exactly. Okay. Thank you, David. Oh, you bet. Uh, I'm going to point out in this section also that Annuicare eliminates the competitions. As I was saying earlier, some companies have come and gone in this space, but nobody's been able to reproduce this benefit. We've had the product for 16 years and we're profitable. And I want to show you how we eliminate that competition. I think the first advantage we have is experience. So we've done this since 1999, so we're actually we're coming up on 17 years of underwriting experience and high issue rates. Uh, seven, almost 17 years of policy owner and producer satisfaction. But the most important part of this equation is uh, since 1999, since we first uh, introduced this product and the concept, there has been no LPC premium increase. So the amount of interest being withheld to pay for the long-term care rider today is exactly what it was in 1999, almost 17 years ago. So the end result is we have the best rate uh, in the industry for any form of long-term care. Another big advantage is there are no long waiting periods. Some of the companies that enter this space and some that are still there have what's called a waiting period, some as long as two years. And I want to explain how that works because it's a tremendous disadvantage. Let's say your, your, your client buys that one of those products with a two-year waiting period today. They get sick or injured tomorrow and they need care immediately. They're going to have to wait the balance of two years before they can even file a claim. So there's a lot of liability in that. Uh, and, then, and then after they file the claim, after two years, there's still a 90-day elimination period with most of these products. Annuicare has only the 90-day elimination period. There is no waiting period. So same scenario, <coughs> excuse me, if they buy Annuicare today and they get sick or injured tomorrow, they can file a claim immediately and begin to receive benefits as soon as the 90-day elimination period is up. So no long waiting periods is a use edge. Now, what I'm going to do now is a little unusual. Uh, I am going to compare Annuicare to the other three companies, and there are four companies today that sell annuity-based long-term care through the private distribution channel. As you can see across the top, it's Guarantee Income, State Life, Forethought, Lincoln Financial Group. Incidentally, these numbers were, were uh, updated, uh, 4, 15, and 16, so they're current. And the illustrations we used to create this spreadsheet came right off of their home office computers and our home office computers. So the numbers are accurate. And we're going to compare them in two areas. On the top portion up here, we're going to be talking about what is the long-term care value. In other words, how much long-term care benefit do they have? And on the bottom, we're going to talk about what is their cash surrender value. And the reason is approximately 30 to 40 percent of these folks will never use their, their long-term care benefit. So this that now becomes the money that will be passed on to the heirs or could be converted into income if their circumstances change. So let's start at the top. Uh, we're going to use a male 65 depositing 100,000 premium. 
And at the end of the first year, of course, that's going to generate 300000 At the end of the first year, because of interest earned, it will have grown to 306000 The lowest of the four is state life at 253 and Then you'll see Forethought and Lincoln Financial. All oh, they're pretty close to guaranteed income at this point. But if you go out 10 years, now your client 75. Uh, our total benefit, and this is current interest rates, would have grown to 367,000. Uh, again, state life is the lowest at 289, and now we're starting to pull away from forethought and have significantly pulled away from Lincoln. If you push this out 20 years to their age 85, now this is a really important age because this is kind of what we call the sweet spot for filing claims. This is when they're going to be using the benefits of those that do. Uh, guarantee income will have the highest benefit of the four at 449,000. Uh, this time Lincoln's the lowest at 301, and uh, both State Life and uh, Forethought are running well behind. So in this top section, all I wanted to do is point out to you numerically that when it comes to how much benefit you get per dollar of annuity premium, guarantee income is clearly head and shoulders above the competition. Now let's go down to these cash surrender values. We started out with 100,000. By the end of the 10th year, at current interest rates, assuming that they don't go up, is 121,000. Uh, Lincoln is 101. Pretty significant difference. And you can see here forethought at 111. Uh, state life at 105. If you go out 20 years, that initial 100,000 deposit would have grown to 149, so let's call it 150,000. Uh, Lincoln, again, the lowest of the four. Uh, state life next to the lowest. Uh, forethought between state life and guarantee income, of course, at the highest. Down here at the bottom, it shows what the premium charge is. In, it, this is expressed in, in, in basis points. What do we charge for that rider? Well, we're paying 3% for a 65-year-old. We charge 0.95 or 95 basis points, less than 1%. State life charges the same thing. Uh, Forethought is very proud of their rider, and they charge a, a point and a half. Uh, Lincoln, who didn't perform very well, only charges a half a point. Well, why can we charge almost two times what Lincoln charges? Here's why. Or why can they charge half as much? Uh, in the Lincoln product, it's only going to pay full daily benefit for the nursing home. So for home health care, Alzheimer's care, and everything else, it's going to pay half the daily benefit, which essentially means you're going to be forced to go into a facility to get full benefit from that particular approach that Lincoln's using. Uh, we pay full daily benefit for home health care. Folks, I went through this for one reason only. I want you to be 100% confident that when you're recommending a new care to your clients and to your prospects, you're doing so because you're confident that it is clearly best in class. So let's move on. Another advantage, we believe Annuicare gives your clients the choice of dignity, and by that, I mean it pays the full daily benefit for home health care. Now, it's been some time ago, years ago, actually, uh, AARP did a survey of their readership, and the question they asked, if you became ill and, or cognitively impaired or, or injured and were unable to care for yourself, would you prefer to go to a facility, a nursing home facility or something similar, or would you prefer to have your, your daily needs catered into your home? Uh, this, this was the answer. 95% said they'd like it at home, and I just can't imagine what the other 5% could possibly be thinking. But in any event, it gives your clients the opportunity to stay in their home, get their full daily benefits, and have their, their health care needs catered right into their home. Now, what I'm about to go through, uh, this is another sales concept, sales concept three. This is the most important of the three because this is a huge opportunity. Uh, each year I attend the Intercompany uh, Long-Term Care Summit. Uh, this uh, last year it was in San, or this year it was in San Antonio, uh, but it was uh, last year it was in uh, Colorado, and I heard a Milliman actuary quoting a Limer statistic, and this really got my attention. What he pointed out <clears throat> is that Limer has discovered that there's approximately 1.86 trillion dollars in non-qualified annuities in America, so just under two trillion dollars of non-qualified annuities. They also pointed out that for the most part, this money is stagnant. It's not moving. At the end of the surrender period, they're not looking for a better rate. They're not looking for a rider that they didn't have. That money's staying right where it is. And the reason for that is very simple. These older annuities have a 3%, some higher, lifetime guarantee. Well, the annuities being issued today, most of them have a 1% lifetime guarantee. So why would they move away from their 3% guarantee with the chance of winding up getting paid lower? 
So what I'm about to show you is two things. How they can beat the tax on a tax-deferred annuity, eliminate the tax, and solve their long-term care needs at the same time. And in this, you'll see the motivation. So what we're going to do on this slide is I'm just going to show you how we turn taxable annuity gains into tax-free long-term care benefits. So let's say you've got a client or you meet, meet a potential client and you discover they have $100,000 in an annuity currently. And they're out of the surrender period, they've got a 3% minimum guarantee, and they're likely not to want to budge because those 3% guarantees are gone. But you learn they initially deposited $50,000, so that's their cost basis, which means they have a $50,000 taxable gain. Well, the problem with that is they think they've got 100000 but half that's going to get taxed. And at death, their heirs will pay the tax on the gain, or if they withdraw any money, the annuitant's going to have to take out the interest first and pay tax on that. So here's the maneuver. You 1035 exchange that $100,000 annuity into Annuicare. That's now an Annuicare deposit. Well, what's their motivation? They currently don't have long-term care. So instead of having $100,000 for long-term care because of the Annuicare rider, they now have $300,000 of long-term care benefit, all which is paid income tax-free. Now, when a claim is triggered, it's going to be paid out of the annuity first, and it's going to be distributed uh, LIFO, last in, first out, which means the interest is going to be used first to pay the claims, and all these claims are paid tax-free. So it drains that $50,000 taxable gain first gets that out of the way and so essentially what happens to the taxable gain we've eliminated the tax on a tax deferred annuity so essentially what we've done with this maneuver via 1035 exchange is we've taken a taxable annuity gain and, and for those that do go on claim we've turned it into a tax-free long-term care benefit uh, folks if you have those stagnant annuities lying around and your clients have no motivation to do anything with that money except just sit on it and enjoy their 3%. If they don't have long-term care, I think the good story is, hey, 3% might be a great rate of return, but this company's currently paying 3%, could pay higher as interest rates go up, but you're going to get 300% immediately for long-term care. Hope that works for you. So, folks, we've talked about the three things that you use to compare these products, the three major categories. One is price. We've not increased ours since 1999, so we're the best out there long-term care benefit. When I did the company comparison, I hope that convinced you that in terms of which company is going to pay the highest benefit per dollar of annuity premium, we are, again, clearly head and shoulders above the competition. And third, and just as importantly, uh, what are those future cash values for the 30 to 40 percent who will either need that money for something else later in life, their needs will change, or they will pass away that money that gets passed on to the heir. So we believe in the three important areas in evaluating this type of product that the guarantee income is clearly hit the bullseye. What I'm going to do right now, very briefly, this, what you're looking at is, is the important page of an illustration. And we're using a 65-year mail, $100,000 deposit. And you'll see immediately that $100,000 deposit, the first thing it did is it generated a $300,000 total benefit. Uh, that's going to generate, now if you take that and you divide it by the number of weeks, you know, in, in, in the, that six-year period, you'll see that that's going to generate $136 a day. Here it is, $136.99 a day for a six-year period. So now the, the selling part's really done down here. Well, what happens at the end of five years? Well, at the end of five years, your $100,000 net of the cost of Annuicare uh, will be now worth 110000 and your benefit will have grown from 300000 to 332000 So, you know, this is what uh, Dave was mentioning earlier. Uh, cost of living is pretty much built in because as the annuity value grows, the benefit grows. If you go down 10 years, now we're up to 122000 of cash value. That's also the death benefit. And uh, the uh, long-term care benefits now increased to 367000 now you get out here to 20 years, and again, now this person's age 85. Their total cash value is just under 150,000. The total long-term care benefit has grown all the way from 300,000 to 449,000. Uh, so that's over a six-year period, so it's adjusted for the most part for inflation, and and it's built in, and there's no, it's not a rider. There's no cost for it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, these are the two brochures that you probably want to get in touch with AIM right away. The Annuicare brochure on the left. 
this will walk you right through the concept, right through the sale. And for those of you that have technical questions, and I know you do, because what we can do in 40 minutes in a webinar is not nearly enough, also ask for the Annuicare Marketing Guide. This is going to give you a list of the medications we'll take, the ones we won't take, uh, the, the, phys the physical conditions that are, would make them ineligible, et cetera. And it'll just help you keep on track in terms of underwriting. Uh, also worth mentioning, uh, Annuicare 10, which is what we sell the most of, the commission's 7.5% through age 74. At age 75, it reduces to 5.5%, like most annuities uh, do reduce the commission at age 75. So it's a, it's a, it's a fair, comparable commission, probably what you're accustomed to. Uh, I also said at the beginning I was going to give an honorable mention of our multi-year guarantee. So we're all done with the new care, and incidentally, this was recorded. Uh, so if you need to view it again, you're welcome to. Uh, we, we call it Guarantee 4. It's a four-year, multi-year guarantee. The current rate is 2.55%. That is the highest four-year MIGA rate in the country. We like to be in that position all the time. Uh, but here's where this product's charm lies. It's issued all the way through age 100. So if you, you're going to come across, if you haven't already, clients that are essentially being kicked out of their annuity. They're being kicked out because it matures. They, the maturity dates on some of these older annuities was age 90 or age 95. They're getting letters from their annuity carriers saying, hey, uh, where, where do we send the check in the 1099? Congratulations, your, uh, your annuity's matured. Now you're going to have to pay the tax. Well, if they've kept it to 90 or 95, unlikely they need the money. It's going to be passed on to the heirs, so they don't want to pay the tax. The guarantee for, let's say, if they were 90, if they were 100, they could put that money into guarantee for, get a very competitive tax deferred rate of 2.55, and will allow them to keep it for 10 years. So that's our guarantee for. <clears throat> Folks, our reputation at Guarantee Income has been based on three things. That's service, experience, and innovation. Uh, we celebrated our 90th anniversary in February, so we are a 90-year-old company founded in 1926. Uh, if you have need to call our home office, I can tell you that you're going to get excellent service from AIM. But if you ever have need to call our home office, uh, you're going to talk to real people. Uh, you're, you'll never be in your car punching in the first three letters of somebody's last name, uh, God forbid, in the school zone. Because of that, most service requests can be handled with one phone call. And as gentlemen, we believe at Guarantee Income, we have built products that fit the, your client's needs today. So again, thank you for listening to me, and I'm going to turn it uh, back over to David Wayland and answer any questions that you have. Hey, thanks, David. I do appreciate it. That was a lot of a lot of information rather quickly. So yeah, we did record the session, so you can, it'll be available for viewing up on our website on our YouTube channel here, uh, probably later on this afternoon. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go slowly and start unmuting people. Hang on a second. If, again, if you have me on a speakerphone, if I hear background noise, I'm just going to mute you right back off. Um, but if you have questions of David right now, now would be the time to, to bring those questions up. Um, I've, I've answered a lot of questions along the way here for people. Um, a couple I interrupted David on to bring up publicly. I thought they were important enough for everybody here to hear the answer. Most I did answer privately, but if you have any questions, now would be the time to bring those up. And I'm sorry, if I hear noise in the background when I unmute you, I'm going to just mute you right back off again. So, okay, just about everybody is unmuted. So now would be the time to pose any questions of David if you have any questions for him. Or type it in um, if you want to do so as well. We're pretty darn excited about this product. We've been working with David and his crew out of Louisiana for quite a while now. They're all very professional people. Uh, what, I just had a question on the AMS rating. I reply back, it's a B++, but everything with Gillico is trending up. So I would not be surprised if at some point in time in the not too distant future that we see that magic letter of A show up there pretty soon. So. Um, but you know everything about Gillico has been trending the right way over the last five to ten years, uh, which is a positive thing for us. We have no qualms about working with them ourselves. Um, they're a solid company. They've been at this for a long time. They do a very good job. They are the industry leader with this type of link benefit, and also that Myaga that he he kind of touched on right there toward the very end. So. Um, we're, we think you should put this, this puppy in your quiver and have this ready to, to draw out when you are working with a client 
that has significant assets and just you see a way of, of rebalancing their portfolio and just trans and just moving an existing asset from one vehicle to a similar vehicle that actually is kind of on steroids and has a back end value for the long term care as well. So keep that keep this product in mind as you go forward. Uh, there is a definite niche, single premium, no rate increases, you know, one and done type thing. So your clients can be rest assured that uh, once they write that one check, it's done. They Gila Coke never come back to them uh, requesting additional funds to fund that long term care event. So if there are, there are no questions, we'll just wrap this puppy up. David, it's always a pleasure doing this with you. Um, you do such a great job and um, makes it easier to do a good job when you have a good product behind you. So uh, we do appreciate you taking the time to uh, spend about 45 minutes with us and our people out there in the field this morning. And if there are no additional questions, um, we'll wrap it up. Everybody have a great day and we'll talk with everybody soon. We will follow up with each of you that were on the webinar today to see if you have any yeah. questions you may not have thought of during the webinar. So thanks everybody, have a good day.